Hi students, my name is Ankush Gupta and I welcome you all in our YouTube channel Race Coaching Institute, Bangalore. So today we are going to discuss second part of January month current affair and that will also be in the form of multiple choice question. So let's start the video. So the first question is Commonwealth Games CWG 2022 held in which place? Your options are France, Russia, Ireland, UK, India. So what is the right option? Right option is D, UK. So this will be the 22nd edition of Commonwealth Games which will be held at Birmingham, United Kingdom. Next question is First ever Antarashtriya Yoga Divas Media Awards presented to how many media houses for promoting yoga? So your options are 25, 32, 20, 36 and 30. And the right answer is option number E, 30. So in total 30 media houses will receive this first ever Antarashtriya Yoga Divas Media Award which will be presented by Prakash Javedkar and who is Prakash Javedkar? He is our Information and Broadcasting Minister. So next question is 12th Naval Exercise Naseem Al Bahar between India and which country held in Goa? And what is the right answer for this? The right answer is option C, Oman. So Oman is a country of Asian continent and its capital is Muscat and the currency is Rial. Next question is, which state to set up Vikram Sarabhai Children Innovation Center? So, what is the right answer? Right answer is option C, Gujarat state. So, here if we talk about Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, he is a pioneer of space program. And uh, if we talk about Gujarat state, uh, Mr. Vijay Rupani is chief minister of Gujarat and Acharya Devrat, Mr. Acharya Devrat is the governor of Gujarat. Our next question is, which government to provide insurance coverage of rupees 5 lakh to Ganga Sagar pilgrims? And what is our right answer? Our right answer is option number D, West Bengal state. Here, if we discuss about the static part of the West Bengal, the capital of the West Bengal is Kolkata. Chief Minister is Mamta Banerjee and the Governor of West Bengal state is Mr. Jagdeep Dhanankar. Next question is, Akbar means passes away he was associated with which field so what is the right answer right answer is option d artist so here if you talk about akbar padmis he was an artist and painter who was born in mumbai and he was also a recipient of padam bhushan and kalidas samman our next question is who was appointed as advisor to J and K Jammu Kashmir Lieutenant Governor? Who is Jammu Kashmir Lieutenant Governor? Mr. Girish Chandra Murmu. So who was appointed as his advisor? Our option, our option is option C, Mr. Rajiv Rai. So he is Mr. Rajiv Rai who was appointed as advisor to Lieutenant Governor of J and K. If you talk about other UTs which were recently formed, the first is Ladakh and who is Lieutenant Governor of Ladakh? Mr. Radhakrishnan Mathur. And uh, we have formed a, a new UT after combining Dadar and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Dew. And who is the Lieutenant Governor of that uh, newly formed UT? Mr. Praful Patel. Our next question is which city to host first edition of Kelo India University Games? And what is the right answer? The right answer is option number C, Bhuvneshwar in Odisha. So this will be the first edition of Kelo India University Games. Here if you talk about Bhuvneshwar which is in Odisha. So Bhuvneshwar is also the capital of Odisha. The CM of Odisha state is Mr. Naveen Patnaik and who is governor of Odisha state? Mr. Ganeshi Lal. Our next question is, who won 5th IHAI National Ice Hockey Championship 2020? And what is our right answer? Our right answer is option A, Leh Ladakh. Here, IHAI stands for Ice Hockey Association of India. And 5th edition of Ice Hockey Championship was held in Leh itself. Now, the Lieutenant Governor of Ladakh, his name is Radha Krishan Mathur. 
a next question is forbes list of people to watch in the 2020s was topped by which personality and what is the right answer the right answer for this question is option e hasan minhas and who is hasan minhas hasan minhas is a indian american comedian and you might seen him in some of the web series in netflix and he was elected as the most watched people in 2020 in forbes list next question is a signed dress worn by whom has been auctioned off to raise fund for firefighters tackling australian bushfire emergency so australian bushfire emergency it was in news so for that which sports person the name is option d serena william so serena william she is a sports woman a tennis player which uh, who belong to usa and she won this signed dress which was later auctioned to raise money for firefighter tackling for australia bushfire emergency next question is iran designate which country as terrorist entity so this is a unique question iran designate one country as a terrorist country and what is our answer answer is option c usa here if we talk about usa the capital of usa is washington dc the currency used in usa is dollar and the name of the president who is 45th president of united states is mr donald trump next question is which are the two indian banks have closed their operation in sri lanka so what are the names of those two banks the names are option d icici bank and axis so here if we talk about uh, both these bank both these bank have their headquarter in mumbai and if we talk about um, ceo of icici bank his name is mr sandeep bakshi and the ceo of axis bank is mr amitav choudhary a next question is which bank projects india's economy to reach 7 trillion by 2030 and what is our right answer our right answer is option number e dutch's bank so this bank is a germany based bank headquartered in frankfurt next question is judges archana rao and deepa ambedkar have been appointed as judges to criminal and civil courts of which of the following cities so what is the right answer option a new york both the archana rao and deepa ambedkar are indian us based judges a next question is who has recently released food item that will be part of the space menu for gaganyaan mission so gaganyaan mission is the mission of isro indian space research organization based in bengaluru so what is the right answer the right answer is option d defense food research laboratory so here dfrl defense food research laboratory is organized under the life sciences direct uh, direct trait of trdo and this is headquartered in mysore karnataka next question is who released a book karam yodha granth on the life of prime minister narendra modi very famous thing so what is the answer the answer is option e mr amit shah our honorable home minister this book karam yodha granth is based on the life of our honorable prime minister mr narendra modi next is what is the maximum amount that can be paid in reoccurring payment in upi what is the right answer the right answer is option b 2000 here if we talk about upi upi is unified payment interface and the maximum amount that can be paid under it is 2000 the next question is world hindi day is celebrated on what is the right is very common day and it can be asked in upcoming exam so the right answer is option e january 10th we celebrate world hindi day to commemorate the anniversary of first world hindi conference which was held in nagpur on january 10th 1975 and this question can also be asked that when 
फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड हिंदी डे वॉज सेलिब्रेटेड सो फर्स्ट हिंदी डे वॉज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डी पी आई आई टी एक्सपैंड एज और वट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ डी पी आई आई टी एंड वट इज द राइट आंसर वट इज द राइट आंसर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सो डिपार्टमेंट फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्री एंड इंटरनल ट्रेड इज अ डिपार्टमेंट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द मिनिस्टर द कंसर्न मिनिस्टर रिगार्डिंग दिस डिपार्टमेंट इज मिस्टर पीयूष गोयल सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच स्टेट और यू टी इज लाइकली टू गेट एस एम एस बेस्ड टैक्सी एग्रीगेटर स्कीम सून एंड वट इज द राइट आंसर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए लद्दाख सो हेयर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द स्टेटिक पार्ट रिगार्डिंग द लद्दाख द कैपिटल ऑफ लद्दाख इज ले एंड ही इज द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ लद्दाख एंड हिज नेम इज मिस्टर राधा कृष्ण माथुर सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Who will succeed Sultan Qaboos as ruler of Oman? So Sultan Qaboos, he is the longest uh, reigning uh, emperor of the world, and he recently died. So what is the answer? Who will succeed him? Uh, the answer is option B, Hatem bin Tarif Al. So here you can see he is uh, Sultan Qaboos, who is world longest reigning emperor, and this is Hat. Hatem bin Tarif Al, and he will succeed him. If we talk about Oman, the capital of Oman is Muscat, and the currency is real. Next is Thomas Antony belongs to which of the following professions? So, what is the right answer? He belongs. He is a cartoonist. So, A is the right answer. And uh, why he was in news, Thomas Antony, because he recently died. He belonged to Kerala state. Next, which team win the first ATP Cup in Sydney? So, which team? What is the right answer? Right answer is A, Serbia. Here, this ATP Cup is related to tennis, and in final, Serbia team defeated Spain. Here, you can see he is uh, Novak Djokovic, and in final game, he defeated Rafael Nadal of the Spain. Next question is. who won bcci lifetime achievement award in women's category this question we have already discussed earlier so what is the name of the sports person option d anjum chopra and anjum chopra who is anjum chopra anjum chopra is former indian women cricketer and she received this lifetime achievement award from bcci and if we talk about bcci it is headquartered in mumbai and who is the current president of bcci mr saurav ganguly next question is flipkart co-founder and former ceo sachin bansal has reportedly acquired dhfl general insurance from वर्धमान ग्रुप कैपिटल डब्ल्यू जी सी फॉर हाउ मच कैपिटल सो दैट वॉज द एक्विजिशन डन बाई सचिन बंसल सो वट इज द राइट आंसर राइट आंसर इज बी रुपीज हंड्रेड करोड हेयर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट फ्लिपकार्ट फ्लिपकार्ट इज इंडियन ऑनलाइन मार्केट कंपनी हेडक्वाटर्ड इन बेंगलुरु एंड सचिन बंसल इज को फाउंडर एंड फॉर्मर सी ई ओ ऑफ फ्लिपकार्ट एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट करंट सी ई ओ ऑफ फ्लिपकार्ट हिज नेम इज़ कल्याण कृष्णा मूर्ति एंड डी एच एफ एल इज एन अगेन एन इंडियन कंपनी विच इज एक्वायर्ड बाई द फ्लिपकार्ट एंड इट्स हेडक्वाटर वॉज इन मुंबई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हु लेट एस ई बी आईज पैनल रिकमेंडेशन टू स्प्लिट सी एम डी एंड चेयरमैन पोस्ट इन लिस्टेड कंपनी सो आ राइट आंसर इज ई उदय कोटक हेयर से बी दैट इज सिक्योरिटी एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया हैज फॉर्म द पैनल फॉर द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग द पोस्ट ऑफ सी एम डी एंड चेयरमैन ओके फॉर दैट दे हैव गिवन द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू उदय कोटक हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ कोटक महिंद्रा बैंक एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द चेयरमैन ऑफ से बी एंड द नेम ऑफ चेयरमैन ऑफ से बी इज अजय त्यागी मिस्टर अजय त्यागी एंड हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ सी बी इज इन न्यू मुंबई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वर्ल्ड फ्यूचर एनर्जी समिट डब्ल्यू एफ ई एस इज हेल्ड एट विच प्लेस द राइट आंसर इज एट ए आबू धाबी 
Here, the World Future Energy Summit, which mainly deal in Smart City Expo and Forum, held in Abu Dhabi, UAE. And if we talk about the Crown Prince of UAE, United Arab Emirates, his name is Mr. Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. So he is the current Crown Prince of UAE. Next is Nitin Gadkari inaugurated 31st Road Safety Campaign at which place? So what is our answer? Our answer is at Nagpur, Maharashtra. Here, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, who is our Honorable Road Transport and Highway Minister, along with that ministry, he is also having MSME ministry with him. He inaugurated this 31st road safety campaign at Nagpur, that is in Maharashtra. So, if we talk about Maharashtra static part, Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra. CM, who is CM of Maharashtra, Mr. Uddhav Thakre. And if we talk about the Governor of Maharashtra, his name is Bhagat Singh Koshiyari. Next is, what is the theme of the 23rd National Youth Festival 2020? And what is the right answer? It is B. Option B, Fit Youth, Fit India. This 23rd National Youth Festival was held in Lucknow, UP state. Here, if we talk about UP state static part, Chief Minister of UP is Mr. Yogi Adityanath and Governor of UP state is Mrs. Anindi Ban Patel. Our next question is First Cyber Crime Prevention Unit of India, Aswast, was launched by which minister? And what is our right answer? Our right answer is by Amit Shah. Option B. This is first of its kind cyber crime prevention unit launched by Mr. Amit Shah in Gujarat state. Next question is, ICGS Annie Besant and Amrit Kaur were commissioned at which place? And what is the right answer for this question? It is at option number A, Kolkata, at Kolkata. Here, Annie Besant and Amrit Kaur are the names of the freedom fighter and two ICGS means Indian Coast Guard ship were commissioned by the Defense Sec Secretary in Kolkata on their name. Here, Annie Basant is based on Chennai and Amrit Kaur is based on Halida, West Bengal. Next is Kolkata Port Trust was renamed after whose name? So, here what is the right answer? The right answer is option D. Mr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee. Here, Mr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee, he was a Indian politician and was minister under the government of our first Prime Minister of India, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru. And now the name of this Kolkata Port Trust um, was changed on his name, Shama Prasad Mukherjee Port. Next is Pali Umrigar Award was awarded to which sports person? So here, what is the right answer? This year, this award goes to option C, Mr. Jaspreet Bhumra. As all of we know, Jaspreet Bumrah is Indian fast seamer and for 2019 edition of this Pali Umrigar award, he won this particular award. Next is who was awarded CK Naidu Lifetime Achievement Award and the right answer for this question is option A, Mr. Krishna Mari Shrikant. Every year this award is presented by BCCI and this year in 2019 under this category which is for lifetime achievement K. Shrikant was awarded with this particular award. Next, who will be the first woman parade adjutant for the Republic Day Parade? And the right answer for this question is option C. Tanya. Here Captain Tanya Shergill become the first Indian woman parade adjutant to lead an all-man contingent at the army day function in Indian army. Next, the famous Parshuram Kund Mela begin in which state? So, what is the right answer for this question? It is in option D, Arunachal. Here, Parshuram Kund, it is a Hindu pilgrim center situated on the Brahmaputra plateau on the bank of river Lohit. And every year on the, in the month of January, they celebrate this Parshuram Kund Mela in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. 
Now here if we talk about the static part of Arunachal Pradesh, Itanagar is the capital of Arunachal Pradesh. Who is the CM of Arunachal Pradesh? Mr. Pema Khandu and the governor of Arunachal Pradesh is Mr. B.D. Mishra. Next, Union Culture and Tourism Minister Prahlad Singh Patel launched an exhibition titled Indian Heritage in Digital Space in which city? So, what is the right answer for this question? The right answer is option E, New Delhi. This exhibition is first, first of its kind special exhibition on Indian heritage in digital space and as, as per said by the Prahlad Singh, Mr. Prahlad Singh Patel, the use of technology in heritage can help to achieve better understanding of our heritage. Next, the fifth edition of prestigious Rasayana dialogue kicked off in which city? Very important current affair. And what is the right answer? Option B in New Delhi. Here, if we talk about this Rasayana dialogue, this is an annual conference held every year in Delhi and this conference committed to addressing the most challenging issue facing the global community. Next, the fifth edition of Science Film Festival of India, SAI FFI 2020 was kicked start in which state or UT? So, what is the right answer for this question? Option D, Goa. So, this was the fifth edition of the festival which was held in the capital city of Goa that is in Panji. So if you talk about the static part related to Goa, the capital of Goa as I already told you Panji, CM of Goa is Mr. Pramod Savant and the governor of Goa is Satya Pal Malik. Next question is who is the new director general of CRPF? And the right answer for this question is option A, Anup, Anand Prakash Maheshwari. So here Mr. A.P. Maheshwari, a senior IPS officer, was appointed as new director general of CRPF. And what is CRPF? It is Central Reserve Police Force headquartered in New Delhi. Next question is, who was recently appointed as 4th Deputy Governor of RBI? And what is the right answer? Right answer is option C, Mitchell Patra. Here if we talk about RBI, RBI we have one Governor and 4 Deputy Governor and Mitchell Patra was appointed as 4th Deputy Governor. If I talk about other 3 Deputy Governor of RBI, their names are NS Vishwanathan first, it, uh, I'm, I'm saying it seniority wise. First is NS Vishwanathan, second is BP Kango, third is Ms. MK Jain and fourth is Michel Patra and the governor of RBI is Mr. Shaktikanta Das. Headquarter of RBI is in Mumbai. Next question is Indian Army Day is celebrated on which day? Very important day and what is the right answer? The right answer is on 15 January option E. So here we celebrate this January 15 as Indian Army Day every year. So why we celebrate this day as Indian Army Day? Because on this particular day, our Field Marshal K.M. Kariyappa, who was then Lieutenant General, taking over as a first Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army from the General Sir Francis Butcher, the last British Commander-in-Chief of India on 15th January 1949. Our next question is, which e-commerce giant will invest USD 1 billion in India over the next 5 years? And the right answer for this question is option C, Amazon. So here this US based e-commerce giant, Amazon will invest 1 billion USD in India over next 5 years. If you talk about uh, Amazon, it is headquartered in Washington DC and who is the CEO and founder of Amazon, Mr. Jeff Bezos. The next question is, the Global Risk Report 2020 has been released by which of the organization? And the right answer for this question is option D, WEF. And what is WEF? World Economic Firm. 
Here, if we talk about WEF, that is World Economic Forum, it is a global organization which is headquartered in Colony, Switzerland, and the CEO, the chairperson of this organization is Professor Klaus Cobb. Next question is, which city has been awarded for its initiatives for plastic waste management with the Swachta Darpan Award 2019? And the answer for this particular question is option C, Puri. Next question is, who was awarded the Test Player of the Year 2019 by ICC? And the right answer for this question is option A, Pat Cummins. So, Pat Cummins is an Australian fast bowler who was awarded as a test player of the year 2019 by ICC. Here, if you talk about ICC, it is headquartered in Dubai, UAE and the chairperson of ICC is Mr. Shashank Manohar. Next question is, which badminton player won the Malaysia Master title? And right answer for this question is option C, Kanto Momota. Kanto Momota is a Japanese badminton player. Next question is, Rajnath Singh dedicates which type of gun to nation? So, Rajnath Singh, our Honorable Defense Minister, he dedicates which gun to the nation? And the right answer is option A, K9 Vajra T. So, this is also called as Indian Army's main Made in India Vajra, where Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh flagged off K-9 Vajra T gun for Indian Army at the LNT armed system complex as Hazira Surat. So here we have the last question of today's quiz. And what is the question? Recently, Union Minister launches Apna Urea Sona Ugle brand of HURL. So what is the full form of HURL? So what is the right answer? The right answer is Hindustan Urwork and Rasayan Limited option A. So here what is HURL? It is Hindustan Urwork Evam Rasayan Limited which was formed on 15th June 2016 as a joint venture company by CIL that is Coal India Limited, NTPC Limited and Indian Oil Corporation Limited as a lead promoter with Fertilizer Corporation of India Limited and Hindustan Fertilizer Corporation Limited as two other partners. So those were all the 50 uh, multiple choice questions for today's video. I hope so all most of you have given the right answer for all the questions and I will come up with the next video very soon. So thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe this channel for more update. Thank you very much.